In this video, I am going to teach you that how you can create frequently asked questions section in your website using pure HTML and CSS. So hey what's up guys, welcome to Cubic Soul YouTube channel and before starting the video, I request you to subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos. Without any delay, let's start. So friends, here you can see that I have two files, the one is index.html and the second is style.css. So first of all, I will create a basic HTML structure here and here I will write the title like FAQ and next we have to link our style.css file with our this HTML code. Next in the body element, create a div element with class wrapper and then type here pre element. Here I will type some text, then create an H1 element here and here I am going to type frequently asked questions. So here you can see the output and you can see that I have zoom in my screen to 150%. Next you need to create a div here with class FAQ and this will be basically the main container of our each frequently asked questions. Next create a button inside and give a class to this button accordion and type here your actual question like I am going to type here what is crushy. And in my this project, I am going to use font awesome icons. So first of all, we need to add CDN here. Open the Google and type here font awesome CDN. Click on the first website. The website name is cdnjs.com. And here you need to click on copy link tag. Paste this link inside your head section of your project. And now we can use font awesome icons in our project. If you want to see their library, you can open the Google and search here font awesome icons and here you can click on this icons to see the available icons inside this library. So you need to click on this find icons with the perfect look. Click on this link and here you can search for your desired icon like if I will type here cart and press enter button, you can see the available icons in this library. To add any of the icon, just click on this icon and copy this i element, complete code and paste this inside your HTML. Just paste this and now you can see that in the output we have an cart element here. But in my case, I'm going to use here FA Chevron down, which is the class to display an arrow down icon here. Next, after this button, create a div element with class panel. And here create a P element here. Inside this P element, you can write the answer of your question. Like for demo purpose, I am going to type some dummy text here. That's it. This is the code of our each question. Now I will copy this and paste here one more times. But in the end, I will simply copy this code and paste two to three more times to display multiple questions. But for now, I have displayed two questions and two answers here. I am go also going to change the text of our second question. So here you can see that I have changed the content of my second question and answer. The next part is open style.css and type here star padding 0, margin 0 and box sizing border box. So these two properties will remove the default margin of our each HTML element and this style will be applied to our each HTML element. Next we need to add a Google font inside our project. So open the Google and search here Google fonts click on the first link the website name is fonts.google.com and next click on these three bars and select fonts here you can search for your desired font I am going to type here Roboto here you can see that I have to use this font I have already added here first of all I will remove this so I can teach you how you can add your Google fonts just click on this font and here you can see that this is the preview of our font. Scroll up from here. I'm going to select regular 400 and next click on this view selected families icons and copy this CSS link and paste this inside your style.css file. Now we can use this font in our project. So you, you need to copy this font family property and paste this here then this font will be applied to our each HTML. You can see that the font have been changed of our all HTML elements and these texts are looking better than before. Next, copy this wrapper class, paste here and type maximum width 
75% and margin auto so you can see that it have 75% of maximum width and margin auto will align our content in the center position of our screen next copy this p element which is inside our wrapper class paste here and before this copy this wrapper class and paste here then type comma and before this type here this side it means that the style that we will write inside this block of code will be only implement to the first child of our wrapper class so the style that you will write here will only implement to this p element otherwise if you will not write this sign then this style will be applied to all p elements inside this wrapper class so you just need to type here comma copy these words paste them here and here i'm going to type h1 because i also want to apply the same style to our this headings so here type margin 1.5 rem uh, for top and bottom and zero pixel for right and left that's it next type here text align center left. next you need to copy these text and paste here and type letter spacing three pixel so this property will add some space between our this title and you can see that it is looking better than before and next you need to copy this accordion class and paste this class here you can also copy and paste this wrapper class at this position to maintain the hierarchy but i'm going to leave this next type here background color white color rgba 000 which is the color code of black color and just type here 0.8 so this is the opacity of our color you can see that our text will look like this next type here cursor pointer so when user will hover our pointer will look like this font size 1.2 rem width 100 percent and padding 2 rem from top and bottom and 2.5 rem from right and left and next to remove this default border of our button just type here border none and outline none next type here transition 0.4 second so basically on hover we will change the background color of this button so that color change time is 0.4 second this button will take 0.4 seconds to change its background color next we want to align our this text to this left position and this icon to the right position to do this just type here display flex and justify content space between you can see the output and next type here align item center to align this button and this icon in a same row same row but center vertically next type here font weight bold you can see the output next we need to copy this i element and paste here and before this copy this accordion class and paste here type here font size 1.6 rem to increase the font size of our this icon and here i am going to create an active class we will use this so here we need to type here active comma and then copy this accordion class and paste this class here with the dot and type here colon hover background color type this color code to get the same results so we will use this class with javascript and we will toggle this class with javascript on click on this button next we have to design our this answer part to do this simply copy this panel class and paste this class here and type padding 0 pixel from top and bottom and 18 pixel from right and left and next type here background color white display none and overflow hidden and currently i am going to comment this line display none property so you can see that what style i am implementing on my this answer next type here background color simply copy this color code and paste this color code here and next type here padding zero pixel for top 2 rem for right 2.5 rem for bottom and 2 rem for left side so here you can see that now this is the style for our this button and on hover our this complete question and answer background color will look like this next copy this p element inside this panel class and 
paste this element here and before this make sure to copy and paste this panel class and type here color RGBA 0 0 0 and opacity would be 0 0.7 now you can see that the color of our this answer and next type here font size 1.2 rem and line height 1.4 you can see the output i have zoom out my this screen i need to zoom in a little bit just that's it the reason i am zooming in my screen so you can see the output more clearly and next in the last just copy this faq class paste here and type border one pixel solid just copy this color code and paste this color code here and change the opacity to 0 0.1 and next type here margin 10 pixel from top and bottom and 0 pixel from right and left now you can see a border around our this question and next in the last just copy this and paste here and type border none but just type here colon active it means that when type here dot instead of colon it means that when our any of these frequently asked element have a class active like you can see here our this question will look like this so we will add this class using javascript i am going to remove this and next in the last we have to add some javascript which will a little bit tricky but it's easy if you put your focus in the video i hope you will understand and by using this javascript we will hide and unhide these answers to add the javascript just type here script variable a double c which is the short form of according you can give any name to this variable and next type here document dot get element by class name and the class name is according so i will copy this and paste here currently you can see that we have two classes two elements with class according so these two classes these two elements will be selected and stored as an array in this a double c variable maybe you have three classes with according class four five how no matter how much element you have these all elements will store on this a double c variable next type here variable i semicolon i will use this variable in my for loop and next type here for i is equal to zero which will be the initial value of our i when loop will started and next type here i less than a double c dot length and i plus plus and using for loop i will set own click listener to our each this button let's see how i am going to do this first of all type here acc which is an array of our all according class elements type here i dot add event listener so we are going to add click event listener to our each button so i type here click type colon so this is the callback function which will trigger when user will click on each of this button next type here this dot class list dot toggle active semicolon so when user will click on any of the button you can see that the active class will be applied to this according element and because in active class i have add this background color so this background color will be implemented on this button let me refresh you can see that now it is white next type here this dot parent element dot class list dot toggle active in this line with javascript i am telling my browser that suppose if user have click on this according button then its parent element is this div class and i am saying that just add an act this active class here and here you can see that in this faq active class i have just set its border to none so now you can see that when user will click its border will be removed and next in the last type here variable panel is equal to this dot next element sibling semicolon it means that if user have click on this button its next sibling element is this div element with class panel so i am selecting this element inside this variable and next type here if panel dot style dot display is equal to block it means that if user have already click on any of the question and user this answer is visible then what you have to do just 
panel dot style dot display is equal to none i means that just hide the answer and else if answer is hidden by default and user click on this question first time then what you have to do just panel dot style dot display is equal to block i means show the answer to the users so let's see the output friends you can see that it's working now and in the last open style or css and uncomment this property because we will hide our all these answers by default you can see the output so now when user will click on any of the answer question he will able to see the answer of that question and this code is completely applicable on multiple answers so you just need to copy this complete code paste here three more times and you can see that it will work so let me open this in a big screen so friends i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section and we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for our regular videos and share this video with your those friends who want to learn web designing and finally thanks for watching